Hi there. Well, today I'm going to show you how the Sonoff integration into CarPlay works so that you can use it to open your garage door when you get home. So in order to demonstrate the Sonoff eWi link on Apple CarPlay, we need to have a couple of things set up first. First of all, we need to have one of the Sonoff bridges. So you might use the Sonoff Zigbee Bridge Ultra like we looked at in a recent video of mine. Secondly, we need to have a device connected to it. In this case, I'm going to connect something that's got a dry contact that will allow me to control my garage door opener. So I'm using this Sonoff, Sonoff THR316. It's got a temperature and humidity monitoring switch, but it also has a dry contact that we can use to connect to our garage door switch. So that needs to be linked up to the Sonoff bridge, and we do that using the Sonoff app. Thirdly, we need to have an advanced eWeLink plan. So eWeLink has recently released this advanced plan where they are offering things like casting to a dashboard, if this then that integration, um, it's got the web access, camera access, web hooks, etc. And for this they are charging $9.90 US per annum. So let's so using the Sonoff infrastructure like this may be something for people who are not yet at the stage that want to build a complete home assistant as yet. So this is offering a whole lot of functionality within the Sonoff network. And at the end of the day, you can connect this to Home Assistant via the Matter technology that is now connecting the two if you want to do that. So we open up our eWi link and we go along here to Scenes. And we're going to build a new scene. So that has the trigger. Now, we don't really need to worry about the trigger because we're going to be using a button within the CarPlay. So I'm just going to push, use this tap to perform. And then I'm going to go down the bottom here and add an action. So as the action, we want to select a smart device. And we're going to select the THR316. And we're going to say, turn it on. There we go. And we're going to save that. And we are then going to save this. We're going to give it a name. Open Garage Door. There we go. We're going to save that. So we now have the action created and we're going to save that. Just go done. So there we go. That's all organized. Now what we need to do is go along here, go to CarPlay, select that and edit. So once it's all in there, we now want to take this and we want to click the plus button over here to add that in to the CarPlay. Now, if you do want to adjust the well we'll just save that first of all you can also just go into your apple settings if you want to adjust the positioning of your app within the carplay system you can go into your car and you can go here and you can say customize and then as you can see we've got the ewe link down there but we can move the ewe link right up if we want to to be the first app so that it's easy to access to press when you are getting your garage door to open. So now all you do is go along to your CarPlay, go along, open up eWi Link, and from there you can open your garage door. I've also created a second button for turning on the garage light. That's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next week.